regulators around the globe are concerned that cryptocurrencies are vulnerable to investor fraud and have been used to finance illicit activities. But cryptocurrencies are different from other asset classes in that they are not issued by anyone who could be regulated. They are borderless and they can function in isolation from the existing financial system. This raises the basic question of whether they can effectively be regulated. To answer this question, we build a data set of regulatory use events and systematically value whether the cryptocurrency markets react to regulatory news. We do find that there is a strong reaction of prices and transaction volumes. To exemplify, take a look at what happened when the US Securities and Exchange Commission in early 2017 denied an application for a Bitcoin exchange traded fund. Immediately after the announcement, the price of Bitcoin dropped by 16% and also other cryptocurrencies were strongly affected. The first reason is that, whereas in theory cryptocurrencies can be accessed directly, in practice they are cumbersome to use and accessed via middlemen, such as crypto exchanges. And these middlemen can be regulated. But there is more to why national regulation can be affected. Markets are still segmented across jurisdictions. Case in point is the kimchi premium, the fact that the price of Bitcoin has at times been 40% higher in Korea than elsewhere. Underlying strict foreign exchange regulation makes it difficult to trade Bitcoin across borders. Overall, we find that there is scope to apply regulation, should authorities decide to do so. And we also find that regulation is not necessarily bad news for the cryptocurrency industry. Many cases of fraud and theft via hacking document that it could benefit from a well-defined legal status.